dude. My god. With how cheap this game is, I'm so done. Like, everything was fine. Oh, yeah, there are here. Sorry, you didn't see them earlier because, um, well, uh, they just sort of spawn in as you get close. Wouldn't want the game to lag the fuck out now, would we? Wouldn't want the game to be a laggy mess, would you? He says, knowing full well that there are areas that are a laggy mess. My goodness. You gotta get right in the center there, like, the hit detection on this shit is whack, dude. Like I say... Stop wasting my time. You know what I want. Or maybe you don't. Give me some money. Okay, just give me the frames, dude. Give me the frames. Okay, you guys are coming. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Okay, this is where this is. Okay, so I don't know where... That's where that is. Okay, so where's the second bonus barrel then? After passing two red buzzes, circling a banana, squawks must fly through another swarm of swoopies. Afterwards, squawks can find a green buzz instead of defeating it, must fly to the upper left, which has an opening that has swoopies. Oh. And there, this one has three hidden secrets in it. Well, I can't get that one. I'd have to do the whole level over because I just got the halfway barrel. Sometime after passing two bristles in an open area where floopies fly in from the top left and the opening at the bottom right, the Kongs must jump from the swoopies to enter the third bonus barrel, which is left of a tree branch and just above the swoopies fly in from. Collect 20 stars. So two bristles and swoopies flying in from the top left, huh? Man, this shit does not respect my time. Three fucking bonuses in this one? Like, come on, dude. Three After two bristles and swoopies flying in from the top left, huh? Well, that's the top right, so... In an open air... Oh! In an open area with two swoopies or whatever the fudge. From the top left and... Okay, like here? Uh, here we go. Collect 20 stars, and I gotta team up and throw her up to get them. Wow. That's really nice that this one was not a pain. You know, thanks for that, dude. Did you dump me back out where the bonus is? Well, I know where this is. Uh, oh my gosh, I almost killed myself. Okay, well, I do know where... You guys coming? I know you guys are fucking coming. Or is it the one right above? Okay. I know you guys are here somewhere. goodness. It's holy love will protect you. 
Thank the cross. Okay, you're coming. Hurry up, dude. Didn't get the end. Okay, well, I have to finish the level because I need to get the third secret. Let me save again so we never have to do this again. It's just terrible. You know, going to farm lives is the good little soft reset because if you're feeling, at least like me, if you're feeling, what's that word I'm looking for? Um, tilted, going to farm levels is a nice way to get away from the level. Farming, did I say farming levels? Farming lives is a good way to get away from the level that's causing you pain. Like this level, for example. Again, it's just about pattern memorization. A lot of difficult games, like I've said before and will say again, a lot of difficult games um, work on pattern memorization. The level will have a pattern that you have to follow and you just have to memorize it and do it and execute it. Just like the bosses in um, Dark Souls, like they have patterns and really you die because you try to force the pattern to do what you want, but the pattern's going to do what it wants and you have to adhere to it and then overcome it, you know, it's just how it is. Uh, here we go, we find ourselves here yet again. Uh, We find ourselves here yet again. Now this is going to be... Start shooting those seeds as soon as you get to this point, dude. That's just mean. Okay, I, uh, maybe? No. Wait. Can't be here. You're saying that I'm supposed to be able to get out that hole. Okay, dude. <sighs> he must fly banana with two red buzzers. Oh, okay. So that banana is a bonus barrel. Okay. Okay, dude, okay. I think it's a collect of 15, too. It's like some stupid bullshit. Okay, dude, okay. I see the game that you're playing here. I see your game and I don't enjoy it. Just a terrible time. Yo, yo, hey, Johnny, how you doing? Good to see you, good to see you. Oh, Lord. Whatever, hopefully I don't have to keep doing this. I'm good. It's fine, it's fine. I was just really tilted towards the end of yesterday's stream. Oh, that's mean, dude. Oh, this is gonna be mean. I'm here to hang for the day, nice. Okay, well, that's a start select. There's a high, high chance that I'm gonna die trying to get back to that. Was it just me, or did you think that, like, Joda towards the end of, like, yesterday's stream was being passive-aggressive? I was, uh, not liking what he had to say. Uh, 
Like, just, as, just as I'm not making sure I'm not the only one that felt that, like, I think I'm just gonna ignore him whenever he talks from now on. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I mean, I also think that he was being a jerk. Squidward is such a jerk, but not in a good way. Best way to ignore a jerk is to not listen to them talk, so that's what I'm gonna do. Me too. I also hate people like that. Damn man, I can never get to that point without being hit. It doesn't matter. If you get hit once in this anyway, you lose, so... Oh, man. Like, we're just here to have fun and enjoy each other? Yeah. It really puts into perspective, like, who my actual community is and people who are... Like... Uh, the moment I really got triggered is whenever it's like, you know... It looks like not playing it as a kid really, uh... Had, I don't know, like, didn't pay off or whatever he said. And then it's like, you know, like, I didn't have it that much as a kid because, like, you know, I don't I don't say that shit for pity. I don't say it to, like, get people to like me. But, like, you know, I'm telling the truth when I say that my dad was a drug addict and my dad did steal our shit to sell for drug money. And then to have a person go and say, like, well, they kind of got a lot of money for it. And it's like, what, what do you mean? Like, what a privileged, like, spoiled brat. I don't know what his life is, maybe he had hardships, but like, you know, he's clearly, I don't know, to act like that is just stupid, I don't know. It really bugged me. Well, clearly he couldn't have got, it was like, it was 600 at the time. What, DK3? Are you talking about like, if you were to get it, like, oh man. I... Like, I can get through this hole, I think. But flying up into the bonus barrel is going to be tricky. The Nintendo? Oh, yeah. That and, like, video games back then were, like, $60. And... Just as expensive as they are now, you know? So, like, we didn't have a lot of money. Or 70 Yeah, so it's like, you know, if my dad took it, like... It was, you know, fucking, like, my mom having to work, like, you know, like, a, pay all the bills, and then, you know, I mean, you know how it is. I lived off hand-me-down consoles as a kid. My friend was like that, like, see, here's what really sucks, is like, my dad never sold my Nintendo, but like, he stole my N64 once and sold that. And like, so we had to, like, so here's what happened. Uh, the new consoles had just come out. I wanted an N64, but they were sold out. And so I said, oh, well, I'll settle for a PlayStation. And, you know, back then, it's not like my we weren't rich. Like, we put our stuff on layaway. I don't know if anybody even knows what layaway is these days. But basically, you could say that you're going to promise to buy something. They'll hold on to it for you, and they'll make payments. And you can make payments on it. That's what layaway was. And so... If I got something, it's because it was on layaway and it would be ready to be paid off like by Christmas time. And that's how I was able to get a lot of stuff as a kid was because we'd wait for layaway. Okay, getting back through here is going to be a pain. Like no matter what, dude, it's going to be a pain. And so it's like, you know, it's not like we could just buy another one anytime soon, anyway. <laughs> 
just like dudes that like are clearly more privileged than you and they don't realize the stupid shit that they say. Oh, okay, we're finally done with this level. This trash level. So yeah, from now on, if he talks in chat, I'm just gonna ignore him. Is that a cog you've got there? You know, I reckon it'll fit on this strange box which has been here ever since I moved in. Pop it in and see what happens. A few more of them to fit it all together. By the way, Dixie, did I mention that last special cost 25 coins? But hey, it'll definitely be worth it. Let's do it, Boomer. Good one, Dixie. That's about your one of Boomer specials. This last level is going to be nothing but pure pain. It's uh, called Rocket Ride, and it's notoriously difficult. It's more difficult than Toxic Tower. It's more difficult than Animal Antics. Animal Antics I did in two runs. This shit is really... gonna suck. Like, you gotta fall down, and then you... Uh-oh, is it reverse controls? Oh, no. Reverse controls on top of that. That's bad. Uh-oh, I got stuck. Uh-oh. <laughs> I just have to wait to die. How terrible. What a terrible place to find myself in. Man, that is whack, dude. Okay, I got the I got the hang of it now. Well, I'm about to lose anyway. Terrible, terrible, terrible. This one is weird. So this one doesn't have any secrets, you just have to get to the end of it. <laughs> okay, come on dude, let's go. What? Did I use up all my fuel? What am I what am I supposed to be doing here? What a what are the controls? Okay, so last time I touched the bottom of that and the thing didn't blow up, but it blew up this time. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Not fun, sorry. Okay, could you go down? Like, why are you not going down? Why is the controls reversed sometimes and sometimes it's not? Okay. I find cola champagne from Goya. Cola champagne. Goya, the people who make the beans? A 
Okay, so controls are still reversed. Bean Bay Beans. Weird. How's it taste? Uh-oh. Okay, cool. I didn't crash. I didn't blow the F up. Ah, uh, my precious fuel. Uh oh, wow, we're just dead. Yeah, this one's gonna be rough. Cola champagne. That sounds weird. It's a Spanish soft drink. Kind of tastes like marshmallow and banana. Ooh, that sounds hella sweet. Cost me. Very sweet, yeah, I imagine. Can't have that stuff with my diabetes. Oh. 